Everybody scream 
the praise and you deserve the glory and you deserve the honor and nobody is like you. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. I just want to take this opportunity to welcome you to this platform. This is one solar night. Praise the name of the Lord. This is one solar night. One solar night where the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they're saved. It's one solar night where we welcome you in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I can see you. God bless you for being here tonight. We don't take you for granted. We love you. You must know that we love you. And it's a pleasure to have you here tonight. I bless God for your life. I just want to celebrate God for your life tonight. I don't know why I'm here, but I'm here because I believe the Lord has something for somebody tonight. I want to bless God for your life once again. Uh, whatever you're going through, whatever your, ch your, your, your challenges may be, uh, I want you to know that the Lord is in control. The Lord is in control. Just know that the Lord is in control. The Lord is in control. The Lord is in control. I, uh, I'm so excited to be here. But then again, I want you to know that I'm also sad today. I think I wrote it on my wall. I have this, you know, everybody has a confidant. You know, like a, a friend or a sister from another mother. I spoke with her, I think a couple of days ago, and we had a laugh, we chatted, and, you know, and it was a blessing, you know, talking to her. And this morning, as early as around um, seven, is it six o'clock or something? I had a phone call. That early, I had a phone call and uh, I was informed that she is on a life support. Like, really? We spoke a couple of days ago. We laughed, we talked about God, what he's doing. We talked about God, you know, the things that God is up to and what he's about to do. And, you know, we were so blessed after we had spoken. And, um, you know, she, she's, a, she's a big sister, an auntie, a mother, everything that you could ask for. So, and guess what? Nothing showed that she was sick. She wasn't sick because she would have told me, we talk about everything. I mean, everything. And then this morning I had a call that she's on a life support, like a life support. I'm like, a life support, is that a joke? Praise the name of Jesus. So I was broken this morning, but the Bible says that we should give God praise in every circumstances, for he knows best. I know that the will of God will be prevailed in our lives. And I know that the steps of a righteous man is ordered by the Lord also. And I know that through the challenging scenes of life, he is with us. Even unto the end of the world, he is with us. And this is our assurance as children of God. Praise the Lord. Um, somebody saying, God bless, one of God. I like the wrapping style on your hair. Oh, I don't even know how I do it. I just I just wrap it around somehow. And I, it comes out right. I don't know. Praise the Lord. I, I just want to bless God for your life. So... Today, I was shattered a little bit, but then again, I was reassured that Jesus said that he will be with us even until the end of time. And the Bible says we should give God thanks in every circumstances, every circumstances. She has four children, you see, and it's my prayer tonight that you join me. We'll join our faith together and then we'll tell Daddy Jesus that may his healing wings tonight cover us and cover our sister wherever she is we need to intercede for for her hallelujah we need to pray for her i know if we put up our, our faith together something will happen i know i know for sure there's a sister that sometimes she'll call and we'll pray together she will encourage me i will encourage her by the time we finish she would have sung about three to four songs already and she's the only person who tells me to stop being stupid. He said, she tells me, she said, Esther, you must stop being stupid. She's the only person that says that and it comes out very strong, you know. Praise the Lord. And today she's on a life support. That, that, that is something. I mean, this morning, I don't know how I drove from home, my house, 
to my workplace. I'm telling you, I don't know how I drove to work. I know I got there, but I didn't know how I got there because uh, there are people who are special to you. There are people who know you and there are people who like know you, you know, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is like a part of me. A part of me is on the life support. And it's my prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. That the Spirit of God, by the message of God, will touch him wherever he is. We command the soul to return back into the body in the name of Jesus. We command the soul to return back into that body in the name of Jesus tonight. She is on a life support. I mean life support for children. Children between the ages of 15 to I think 8 or something like that. And um, this is worrying. It's nearly Christmas and you know how children love to spend Christmas with their parents. And for your mother to be on a life support, this is crazy. This, this is crazy. This, this is not right. So join your faith with me tonight. I just, uh, perhaps you're also going through the same challenges. Someone you love so much is on a life support. Perhaps somebody may not be on a life support, but somebody is believing God for a miracle. Somebody is at the edge of giving up. Perhaps physically you may not have been on a life support, but spiritually you know you are on a life support. You're waiting for the last breath just to gasp and something will happen. Somebody you're listening to me and you feel as if there is no light at the end of the tunnel tonight. Somebody you are the sound of my voice, you're listening and you know that relationship, that marriage you're in. You want to give up, you want to throw in the towel, you want to come out of it. But tonight I come in the name of Jesus. Receive strength. Someone, you are depressed, oppressed, suppressed. You are so down, you don't know what to do, where to turn to, who to talk to. But I come to you in the name of Jesus. Receive strength in the name of Jesus. Receive healing in the name of Jesus. Receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive the hand of God upon your life right now in the name of Jesus. I command every challenge in your life to, to come under the subjection of the Spirit of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. ago she sent me a text and said to me she said Esther she said there's a song that you love to sing and and she wrote it she wrote everything that was the last um, text she sent me she sent me that was the last text she sent me I'm trying to think about the song I remember she sent me that song. She said, there's a song you love to sing. And she said to me, the Spirit of God wants me to sing that song to you. That's what she told me. The Spirit of that song. That's right, that's right. Something more than gold. Something more than gold. 
The Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Something more than gold. Something more than silver. The Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Something more than gold. Something more than silver. The Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Something more than gold. Something more than gold. And the Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Something more than gold. Jesus, something more than gold. The Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Beloved, that's something more than gold. It's something more than gold. The Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Oh, something more than gold, something more than silver. In the spirit of God, in the heart of man, is something more than gold. Oh, something more than gold, something more than silver. In the spirit of God, in the heart of man, is something more than gold. Praise the Lord. Wherever you are, I want you to lift up your hands like that. Just lift up your hands like that. Lift up your hands like that. Something more than gold. Something more than gold. In the spirit of God. In the heart of man is something more than gold. Jesus, something more than gold. Master, something more than silver. Is your spirit, oh God, in the heart of man? Is something more than gold. Jesus, something more than gold. Something more than silver. The spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Oh, something more than gold. Oh, something more than gold. The Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. It is something more than gold. It is something more than silver. The Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Oh, something more than gold, something more than silver. The Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Oh, the Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Oh, the Spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Heart of man is something more than gold. Oh, the spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than gold. Father, we just want to welcome your presence here. God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tonight, we just want to welcome your presence in this place, on this altar, on this page on this platform we just want to welcome you tonight Holy Spirit of God we want you to take absolute control we want you to take preeminence we want you to have your way Father anything that will exalt itself above the knowledge of God we bring it under the subjection of the Holy Spirit sweet Spirit of the living God I need you to come and speak to your people come and 
revive your people, come and restore your people. Anything that is dead tonight, may it be risen, be risen in the name of Jesus. Father, we command every broken pieces to be put together in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, if there be anybody sick in our midst, any kind of sickness, any kind of diseases, Father, we take authority in the name of Jesus Christ. That your way says, by your stripes we are healed. Father, your way says, by your stripes we are healed. Jesus, your way says, by your stripes we are healed. Jesus, your way says, by your stripes we are healed. 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 I come against mental disorder. Any form of mental disorder. Align yourself to the will of God. In the name of Jesus. I command diseases to disappear. In the name of Jesus. I command diseases to disappear. I command cancer to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. That seed of cancer. That cell of cancer. Be destroyed by the power in the name of Jesus. We command you demons to disappear. In the lives of the people of God. You spirit of witchcraft be arrested in the name of Jesus praise the name of the Lord you spirit of depression you foul spirit of depression oppressing suppressing stress be bound in the name of Jesus Christ arthritis diabetes hypertension Pneumonia, HIV, AIDS, different forms of cancers. Hear the voice of the Lord tonight. Be thou destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Be thou uprooted in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that no weapon formed against us will prosper. And every tongue that will rise against the people of God will be brought under the judgment of God. Tonight, receive the judgment of God by fire in the name of Jesus. Every form of sickness, form of sickness, weaknesses in your body be bound in the name of Jesus. Lose your home in the lives of your people, Lord. Set your people free. Jesus came to set the captives free. If you are here, someone you know is not well tonight, receive healing on their behalf. Jesus. Somebody say, Jesus. Somebody say, Jesus. Where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. Receive liberty tonight in the name of Jesus. Liberty in your spirit, soul, mind, body in the name of Jesus. Liberty in your environment in the name of Jesus. We saturate the atmosphere with the blood of Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus. We invoke the blood of Jesus over your life. We invoke the blood of Jesus over this platform. We invoke the blood of Jesus over your life. We invoke the blood of Jesus over your children. We invoke the blood of Jesus over your workplace. We invoke the blood of Jesus over that marriage. We invoke the blood of Jesus over the church. We invoke the blood of Jesus over that environment. We saturate that environment with the blood of Jesus. With the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive deliverance. Receive a set free. In the name of Jesus. Any spirit tormenting your mind. Tormenting your soul. Tormenting your spirit. We bind it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that two shall agree over a thing and it shall be established. Tonight we are beyond two. We are beyond three. We are beyond four. In the name of Jesus. We come into agreement. And Lord. By your name. By fire. Set your people free. Liberate your people. Liberate your people, 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 liberate your people tonight. Liberate your people in the name of Jesus. Liberate your people in the name of Jesus. On that cross of that day, Father, you said it is finished. Let the work of the devil be finished in the lives of your people tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any spirit binding, bounding you. You know, any spirit that has changed you, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Spirit of sodomy, spirit of masturbation, spirit of fornication, spirit of worldliness. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Spirit of carnality, 
be bound in the name of Jesus. Spirit of anger, strife, be bound in the name of Jesus. Spirit of jealousy, be bound in the name of Jesus. Spirit of anger, be bound in the name of Jesus. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Be bound in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you 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 in the name of Jesus. Spirit of witchcraft. Familiar spirit. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Spirit of self-righteousness. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Spirit of hatred. Unforgiveness. Be bound in the name of Jesus. You know that divorce is a spirit. Divorce is a spirit. It is a spirit. Be bound in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Spirit of uh, waywardness. Disobedient spirit. Be bound in the name of Jesus. they may serve me let my people go that they may serve me let my people go somebody shout and say let my people go let my people go Jesus in the name of Jesus any spirit of depression you know that spirit that tells you to commit suicide you know that spirit that tells you that you're not good enough that that demonic spirit that tells you that nobody loves you. That's that spirit that tells you that you can never be good. You can you, nothing good can come out of you. Be bound in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Devil will put you under the subjection of the Holy Spirit. Demons will put you under the subjection of the Holy Spirit. We bind and destroy your works. We bind and destroy your works. We bind and destroy your works. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for me. Somebody, I can see you vomiting. Vomit is out. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for me. Mm, thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for me. I give you praise, oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for me. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, for I am born again. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, for I am born again. Jesus, take glory, Father, and take glory, Son. Oh, take glory, Holy Ghost, for I am born again. Oh, take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy Ghost, for I Somebody shout and say, Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. Because I am born again. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. For I am born again. Oh, take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy Ghost, cause I, I am born again. Oh, take glory, Father, Jesus, take glory, 
Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. support like this these are people who were never sick never thought would be sick yet there are things life throws at us tonight I just want to ask you just one question and I want to ask myself also praise the Lord perhaps if your personal trumpet should sound today, where will you be? Perhaps you have given your life to Jesus. Yes, you're a Christian. Yes, you go to church. Yes, everybody knows you're very active in the things of God. But deep inside, truly, are you in the will of God? You know, this, this, this afternoon, I was just sitting in my car quietly at my lunchtime and I was asking myself, so... If I should be the one on a life support, like now, where will I be? If I should be the one that suddenly something happens, where will I be? Will heaven rejoice over me? the way around. Beloved of God, I'm not going to talk too much tonight. 
somehow the Spirit of God wanted me to come out. Because there's somebody here at the sound of my voice. As for you, everything is okay for you. And you don't see the essence of knowing Jesus. As for you, things are going well. And sometimes your ego and pride tells you that it's because of your own strength. Tonight I came to introduce this man to you. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. He's the Son of God. He is a friend of sinners. My Bible says, whilst we're yet sinners, Christ Jesus came to die for us. And my Bible tells me that he's coming again. He is coming again. This man is coming again. And I tell you what, even if he does not come, some of us will sleep. Some of us will sleep. Perhaps some of us will sleep. Whichever way, be it sickness, accident, whatever way, something's got to take us out. But you see, physically, people may be challenged, but their soul is intact. That is what people need to understand. That Jesus Christ is coming again. The poorest person that ever existed is not the person who does not have money or riches or car or houses the person who has not have who does not have a three square meal the poorest person is that person who does not have Jesus that person who does not have, know Jesus that person who has not accepted the Lord Jesus as their Lord and their personal Savior tonight you're here at the sound of my voice do your soul a favor do your soul a favor. Repent from your pride, arrogance, sorry, your pride, your arrogance. Repent from what you think you did with your own strength. And tonight, run to Jesus now. Because the next second is not guaranteed. I spoke to my friend two days or three days ago. We spoke and we laughed. We talked about everything. I remember her telling me, she said, Esther, I have a lot to tell you. But when it's conducive, I will call you and we'll talk. She said to me that, Esther, Esther, she said to me that, Esther, these are the last words my friend said to me. She said, Esther, the Lord has trusted you with something. You must make sure you accomplish that thing. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. These were the last words she said to me. She said, Esther, nothing matters but the mandate God has given you. If I knew, that would probably be one of our words. And then the next minute I hear that she's on a life support. That night I would have stood on the phone for a long time. I would have stood on the phone for a long time. Because she said to me, I have a lot to tell you. But it's not conducive now. But I remember her telling me, she said, What the Lord has asked you to do is more important than anything. She said, make sure you do it. This is somebody who was not sick. She did not complain of sickness when we were talking. We were laughing, we were chatting. We were praising God for knowing the truth. We have found the truth, we were so happy. I was telling his bro her brother that, you know, a couple of months ago, she called me and said, Esther, I have had an encounter. She said to me, she said, I've had an encounter. She said, when you guys talk about heaven, it's true, she said to me. She said, I don't want you to tell anybody, but today I visited a place. She said, it's another country altogether. She said, it's a beautiful place, and it's true that every the streets are gold. 
This is a friend who is on life support as I speak to you now. Three days ago, we spoke. Now, a couple of months ago, she called me and said, Esther, I had an encounter and I went to a place where the streets were gold. She said, Esther, what you are talking to people about, keep telling them because today I have seen the streets of gold. She said to me, I forgot that I had children. I forgot that I had a husband. All I wanted was to stay there. And she said to me, nobody knows this. Don't tell anybody. Beloved of God, heaven is real. Hell is real. There's coming a time that even the very people you are so embarrassed to see your nakedness. They are the very people that will clothe you. The very people that you never loved, respected. They are the very people that will cover your shame. A day is coming that the very people you did so many wrong things to. They are the same people that will cover your shame. Beloved, it is appointed once for man to die. After death, there is judgment. Everything we're doing does not matter. This morning, you know, when I heard that she was on a life support, all I said was, hey. So she was on a life support and she did not take anything to the hospital. This woman did not take anything she had. As a matter of fact, her clothes will be taken and they will put a hospital gown on her. Human beings, what at all are we looking for? Let's seek God whilst he may be found. Let's call upon him whilst he's near. The day draws nearer. The curtains are coming to a close, my friend. Tonight, I'm not going to talk too much. But I want you to know that Jesus Christ is coming again. Beloved, being a Christian has nothing to do with church going. It is very important for brethren to gather together. The building does not make a church. It's you and I. We make the church. The Bible says our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. What makes a church is you and I. What makes a church is you and I. What makes a car relevant is you driver. You who is driving the car. I said what makes a car relevant is you the driver maneuvering and check, directing the car. Come on. Young man, young woman. There is something after death. There is something, real life begins after death. Real life begins after death. Real life begins after death. Nobody has ever told you perhaps that I came to tell you that real life, true life begins after death. True life begins after death. If true life does not begin after death, we would have taken whatever we have with us to the grave. But you must understand that true life, it begins after death. That is why it's important for you and I to daily repent, to daily dedicate our life to Jesus, to daily surrender our life to Jesus, to daily repent and ask the Spirit of God to help us, to daily rely on the Holy Spirit, to daily rely on the Holy Spirit to help us live right for Him. Holiness is of an essence. Holiness. Righteousness, the passport to heaven, the passport to heaven, the passport to heaven, the passport to heaven. Beloved, the visa to heaven, the visa to heaven is not just lifting up your hands and being born again, but the visa to heaven is finding Christ and walking in the righteousness of God. Giving your life to Jesus is beginning of a journey, a journey of a lifetime, an eternal journey. We must be born again. 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 We must give our life to Jesus. We must prioritize Jesus. We must allow the Spirit of God to dwell in us. We must pray for the seal of God to come upon us. The seal, the, 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 the seal of God, the seal of the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. In this end time, we need the Holy Spirit. In this perilous time, we need the Holy Spirit. 
in this time that the church has fallen away, there's a fall away of the church of God, we need the Holy Spirit. In times where people call good bad and call bad good, we need the Holy Spirit. In times where people are giving up, the Bible says that in the last days, in the last days, for the love of many shall wax cold because sin shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold because sin shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold because sin shall abound. In the last days, the love of many shall wax cold because sin shall abound. Sin is abounding. Sin is abounding. Sin is abounding and it will keep abounding. My dear, my brother, my sister, you must rise up and walk in the holiness of God. Beloved, heaven is so real as real can be. Hell is so real as real can be. But tonight, thank God for the grace of God. We thank God for the mercies of God. We thank God for the blood that he came to shed on the cross for us. We thank God for his unfailing love. Tonight is your salvation. Your salvation draws near, beloved. Salvation is, a door of your, is at the door of your heart. Salvation is screaming. Salvation is screaming, oh. Salvation is screaming. Salvation is screaming on the streets. Salvation is screaming on the streets. Salvation is screaming on the streets. Will you give your life to Jesus? Will you give your life to Jesus? Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock. Whoever shall open, I will come in and I will dine with him. Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I'm knocking. Perhaps you are a prostitute, but the Lord is knocking at your heart. Perhaps you are a thief, the Lord is knocking at your heart. Perhaps you carry the spirit of jealousy, the Lord is knocking at your heart. Tonight, perhaps you are a witch, the Lord is knocking at your heart. Beloved, the Lord is knocking at your heart. Oh, you are following someone's husband, but the Lord is knocking at your heart. Beloved of God, you carry a familiar spirit, but the Lord Jesus tonight is knocking at your heart. Beloved Jesus is knocking at your heart. I said, salvation, 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 salvation is screaming on the streets tonight. Salvation is screaming on the streets tonight. Grace is screaming on the streets tonight. The message of God screams. It screams who will accept it. Who will accept salvation tonight? Who will give their lives to Jesus tonight? Salvation is screaming, it's for free. Salvation is screaming, it's for free. Oh my God. Will you surrender your life to Jesus? Will you call upon the name of the Lord? Will you surrender your life to Jesus? Will you allow the Lord to come into your heart? Will you allow the Spirit of God to reign in your heart? Will you allow the Spirit of God to reign and rule in you? Will you allow the Spirit of God to control you? Oh, beloved of God, oh, thou wretched soul. Every soul that does not know Jesus is a wretched soul. Every soul that does not know Jesus is a wretched soul. Every soul that does not know Jesus does not know Jesus is a wretched soul. Oh, wretched soul. Oh, wretched soul. The Lord calleth unto you. Salvation screams at you. Salvation is begging for you to come to him. Salvation is begging. The blood of Jesus is begging. The blood of Jesus is flowing tonight. The blood of Jesus is flowing tonight. Beloved of God, child of God, child of God, child of God, will you accept the free gift of salvation? Will you accept the free gift of salvation? Oh, beloved, it's appointed once for man to die. There is judgment ahead of humanity. There is judgment ahead of humanity. There is judgment ahead of humanity. And everything that man did, man did. The Bible says that everything that man did. Oh, a day is coming that will give an account. A day is coming that I will give an account. A day is coming that you will give an account. Every word that you've spoken. Every iota of word that you've come came out of your mouth. A day is coming that the books will be open. The books will be open. Every work you did in the name of Jesus. The book of remembrances will be available. A day is coming that the book will be open. Beloved of God. Oh, beloved of God. Oh, that wretched soul. Will you repent and come to Jesus tonight? It is for free. Salvation is for free. Salvation is for free. Salvation is for free, you know. I'm telling you, many people have seen their graves tonight. Many people have seen their graves tonight without knowing Jesus. Oh, wretched soul. Oh, wretched soul. With all that you have, with all that you've gained. What if you don't have Jesus? 
What is the essence of gaining the whole world without Jesus? What is the essence of having everything without knowing Jesus? What is the essence of having fleets of company without Jesus? What is the essence of having fleets of cars without Jesus? What is the essence of having fleets of houses without Jesus? What is the essence of having a good marriage without Jesus? What is the essence of having many children without Jesus? What is the essence of being lifted up by men by being rejected by Jesus? Oh, wretched soul! Wretched soul, the Lord is calling you tonight. The Lord Jesus is calling you tonight. There is no name that has been given to men that men shall be saved but the name of Jesus. Jesus said, Behold, I go, but I go and prepare a place for you. He said, If it were not so, I would not have told you. He said, If it was, it was not true. Let me paraphrase it. If it was not so, I wouldn't have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and I prepare that place for you, I will come again that and take you that where I am, that may be also. What, a, what an assurance. Everything we're going through here is temporal. All the challenges, the pain, the shame, the disgrace, the embarrassment, the, the lack, the worries, the pain. These are temporal. Real life begins after eternity, I tell you. Real life. True life is hidden in Christ Jesus. True life is not drinking alcohol, drinking your life away. True life is not smoking your life away, young man. True life is not smoking your life away. True life is hidden in Christ Jesus. He said, behold, I give you life. And I give you more abundantly. Oh Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. Perhaps you don't know Jesus. Draw me close to you. I don't want it to go away. You never let me go I lay it all down again To hear you say that I'm your friend You are my desire no one else would do Lord and nothing else can take your place to feel the warmth of your embrace Lord help me find a way bring me back to you you did not hear me. Draw me close to you. Lord, never let me go. Oh, I lay it all down again. To hear you say that I'm your friend. Yeah. 
sometimes of us so God can let us know that every second draws us to eternity every second draws us to eternity today I questioned a lot of things and we run around we suffer we're tired worn out trying to find things that are so temporal we gather all our lives, we waste to gather things that are temporal. And we forget what really matters. Sometimes we even forget that you see all this pride of life. The things that we cannot give, you know, deny for Christ's sake. The things that we find it so difficult to, to ask God to help us. These things. A day is coming that you hold it. They'll put it in your hands. And your hand may not be able to hold it. Whilst you are alive. Whilst you, are, you have breath. As long as you have breath. Prioritize your maker. Put Jesus Christ first in your life. Everything we're looking for, we'll leave it. Everything we're looking for, we will leave it. We will leave it to the extent that we'll leave our children, we'll leave our spouse, we'll leave our family. I said that day is coming that your own loved ones will come and see you lying down. They can only pray for you. They can only wish you well, but they cannot go with you. Put Christ Jesus first. Today, that you have mouth to scream, hand to lift, you have legs to walk. Make sure that you put Jesus Christ first. Today, that you have strength, make sure that you do something for God. I want to bless God for your life. This morning, this midnight, I was praying. That was last night. And for the first time, I felt as if someone has hit my chest with like a, like a rock. I, I don't know how to describe it, but... And this afternoon, I didn't feel fine. So, I was at work. And I was telling myself that... I, I don't feel fine in me. 
this midnight around one, two, three. I was in prayer and I was praying, but I felt like a like a rock has been hit on my a, a big one on my chest. So I stopped a bit and I kept praying. Then I was called this morning. This afternoon, I did not feel fine. Christ everything you do in your secret place when nobody is watching whether people are watching make sure you have a right standing with God death never tells us it's coming Job said that a boundary has been set for me. And when I get to that boundary, I cannot cross beyond that boundary. The day I read that chapter, I was so afraid. And I came to realize that indeed, even look at the sea. The sea has been set a boundary. And whether the wave comes heavily or not, that boundary, the sea cannot cross. If you don't believe what I'm saying, check the sea. And you know that you and I as human beings, the Lord has set a boundary before us. Whether we believe to be 80, 60, 70, 40, 45, 35, 30, 25, whatever. That boundary, when it gets there, we may not be able to cross. Let's make Jesus a priority. Let's make the Lord God a priority. Because tomorrow indeed is never guaranteed. The next second indeed is never guaranteed. The next minute is never guaranteed. Can you imagine if I knew my friend would be in coma or whatever? I had a lot to tell her. I had a lot. Perhaps we would have talked and talked and talked. Life. Life. Please, I beg of you. Make Jesus your priority and keep me in your prayer. I don't feel fine. My, 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 there, there is a deep sorrow in my heart. I pray the Lord keep us steadfast in Him to the end. May the Lord help us to stand to the end. May the Lord give us the strength to please Him. May God show us His mercy. You are here tonight. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to leave you. You want to give your life to Jesus. I want you to lift up your hands. Don't wait till you die before you scream, if I knew, had I known. Had I known, it's always at last. Had I known, it's one of the languages of hell. Had I known. Had I known, it's one of the languages of hell. Had I known. Tonight you want to give your life to Jesus? I want you to lift up your hands like that. I want you to lift up your, your hands like that. Lift up your hands like that. You want to give your life to Jesus? There's an opportunity. I'm telling you, through one solar night, many will see heaven. Many will get into the new Jerusalem. I'm telling you. You must surrender your life to Jesus. You must walk in the righteousness of God. But I pray. And this is my secret prayer. That I will not be a castaway. I will not be a cyborg. I want you to lift up your two hands. You want to give your life to Jesus. 
wherever you are, whether you are in your living room, in your toilet, in your bathroom, in, at the roadside, wherever you are, just say this after me. Say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I know I'm a sinner. But I know you came to shed your blood for me. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I accept your free gift of salvation. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I take you as my Lord and my personal Savior. I want you to come and live in my heart. I want you to write my name in the book of life. Holy Spirit of God, I want you to direct me into all truths. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout and say amen. Beloved, if you have said this, I welcome you to the body of Christ. This is the beginning of an eternal journey. An everlasting life. The journey to an everlasting life. The journey to New Jerusalem. The journey to paradise. Praise the Lord. But you have to put on the whole armor of God. Put on the entire armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. That we found in Ephesians 6. When you get time, read it. Put it on and ask the Spirit of God to help you daily. I bless God for your life. I thank you for coming out tonight. I thank you for the time you spend in the presence of God with us tonight. I want to celebrate Christ for your life. I don't take you for granted, please. I want you to know that I love you with the love of Jesus and there's nothing you can do about it. My name is Esther Sephora. This is One Soul a Night. It's a platform once again where the name of the Lord is exalted above every other name. It is a platform where Jesus Christ alone is a superstar. It is a platform where we magnify the name of the Lord God Almighty. It is a platform where the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they're saved. It is a platform where you come just as you are. And even as you come just as you are, you give your life to Jesus. But it's a platform where we tell you that going the same is an error. But you can come just as you are. But leaving the presence of the Lord the same is an error. May the Lord bless you. Remember, without holiness, none shall see the Lord. And also remember, remember and remember and remember. Remember. You must remember. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Holiness is the order of the day. Holiness is a visa to heaven. Holiness. Jesus said we must be holy for he is holy. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. God bless you all. We're still on a fast. Keep fasting. Keep praying. You know, keep fasting. We're warring. And we're warring into 2018, into 2019 through prayer and fasting. The essence of waiting on the Lord. You see, you must wait on the Lord because many things happen at the end of the year. And I pray that the Lord Jesus will exempt you and your household as you seek the face of God. Amen. I receive it. Sister Margaret said, Esther, you never like I receive that. As you seek the face of God in fasting and in prayers, beloved of God, be rest assured that the Lord is your strength. But make sure you're walking in the righteousness of God. Because the Bible says in John 9, 31, it is written on my heart, I don't joke with that. The Lord does not hear the prayer of a sinner, but those who are obedient to him, those who hear his voice, praise the Lord. So you must understand that fasting alone without obeying the word of God, it's a waste of time. Please walk in the righteousness of God for each and every day draws us closer to the new Jerusalem. Each and every day draws us closer to the new Jerusalem. We must enter into that city, that city full of gold, you know, and diamonds and stones, precious stones. That city, I can't wait to get into that city where over there there will be no sorrow, there will be no tears, there will be no pain, there will be no depression, there will be no suppression, there will be no oppression over there. There will be no pain over there. There will be no sickness. A day is coming. We'll get into this city where our tears will be wiped away. A city where there shall be no sorrow. We will not see sorrow again. We will not see sicknesses again. That city, I believe there will not be any hospital because we will never be sick. Beloved of God, we have a place ahead of us. We must look ahead 
to that beautiful city, the new Jerusalem. Whatever it takes for you to get into that city, do it for your soul. Look ahead. Be focused. Love your neighbor as you love yourself daily. Relying on the Spirit of God to prepare you daily. Checking ourselves and making sure whether we're still in the faith. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. May the Lord bless you. I look forward to seeing you in that city. I look forward for us to meet again. We will meet again in a city where the city, there is no light. For Jesus Christ alone will be the light. In that city, there will be no pain. There will be no shame. There will be no disgrace. There will be no worry. There's a city ahead of us where in that city, you will not look for reverend this, reverend that. You will not be looking for apostle this, apostle that. It is a city made for the righteous. A city where we will not be foreigners. We will not be strangers to each other. A city where you meet a brother, a sister, and you know that indeed our spirit testifies that we are the sons of God. There's a city ahead of us. We must strive to enter into that city. We must get on that narrow road and strive to enter into that city. I'm telling you, every church you go to, where the man of God will not tell you to live right in accordance with the prerequisites that will qualify you to get into that city. I tell you this for free, that find another place. I'm telling you, forget the music, forget the decoration, forget whatever. Hello, Mama. Mama John, God bless you. You know, forget whatever you see that makes you excited in a church building. I said, there's a city ahead. And wherever you go, that the man of God, the woman of God, is not preparing your soul to qualify or work and obey that, prere that prerequisite to enter into that city. You must come out. Sister Lady, God bless you. Praise the Lord. It's about your soul. Every night as you come to one soul and night platform, you must understand that it has nothing to do with the Stasaforo. As I come and speak, I'm also working on myself. I'm not better than you. Praise the name of Jesus. Wherever you go, where they will not tell you truth, raw truth. Where they will not tell you to walk in the righteousness of God. Where they will not tell you to stop dressing like a harlot. Where they will not tell you to stop looking like a worldly person. Where they will not tell you to stop all these provocative dresses. Where they will not tell you that the things that you have on, they belong to the demons. There are places you go to where they refuse to tell you the raw truth. Praise the Lord. These are domes for Satan. These are airports for Satan. Terminals for the devil. Where they are preparing a lot of souls to hell. They have programmed a lot of souls to hell. And all they tell you is you prosper. You would this. You would that. You would this. I want you to visit I to you tonight. Intensive care. And you know how many rich people are lying down. And they don't even want to know what they have or what they don't have. All they're looking for is for them to come back to life and make things right with God. You and I have the opportunity, beloved of God, the most important thing that matters on this earth is your soul. It's my soul. If we should die today, if the trumpet should sound today, where are we going to go to? Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. I love you with the love of Jesus. And there's nothing you can do about it. Have a lovely evening. Jesus loves you and I love you too. I love you with the love of Christ. There's nothing you can do about that. Amen. Brother Stan, how are you doing? God bless you. God bless you. May God bless you all. Have a good night. 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 Sister Gladys, God bless you. Uh, God bless you all. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. If you're here, you see you women, let me tell you. Some of you beautiful women, you are beautiful. You still bleach. What's your problem? And then you are beautiful. You're still bleaching. You're telling your creator how he created you was not good enough. May God help you repent. Praise the Lord. Amen. May God help you repent. You're here. You hate your neighbor. You hate your neighbor. Think about that. Praise the name of the Lord. Think about it properly and make amends with the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. But understand what are you saying? I'm good. Oh, you're good. Huh? God bless you too. Yeah, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, brother Stan. Praise the Lord. 
Haha, <laughs> yeah, brother Stanley say I'm good though. Trying to steal my accent, isn't it? Praise the Lord. I'll see you all by the grace of God on Friday. Keep praying. We're on a 40 days fast. I think this is our ninth day. You know, um, it is our ninth day. And so far, God has been so faithful. And um, I'm telling you, fasting is so good. It's good for your soul. It's good. Be prayerful. Be prayerful. Keep consecrating yourself. It is very necessary. Be empowered. Let the word of God dwell in you greatly. Let the word of God dwell in you greatly. Let the spirit of God control you completely. I'm telling you, a day is coming that we will regret that we did not spend enough time with God. A day is coming that we will regret that we did not do what really mattered. We did not do what really, really, really was important. Please. God bless you. God bless you. Keep fasting. Keep praying. May the Lord bless you. Have a good night. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm.